So we're going to convert If you have to convert from one unit, for example, mass percent, to another unit, for example, molality, you have to do the following. Okay, so for this problem, it says find the molality of 35%, 35.4% mass percent. So the first thing you should do is write the formula for both of those. So I'm going to write mass percent is percent equals grams over grams times 100. That's one formula. And molality is moles over kilograms. Okay. So this is the solute. In this case, solute is H3PO4. This is the solution, both H3PO4 and water. This is only water. Okay, so then I'm going to plug in numbers now. After I write the formulas, I'm going to plug in this number here because it says 35.4%. Okay, after I plug in numbers, I'm going to make up numbers. To make a 35.4%, that means 35.4 grams for every 100 grams. That's the same as 35.4%. Okay. After I made up numbers, I will use the data that I got from here to plug in numbers here. Okay, so this is also H3PO4. So as you can see, um, all I have to do to get this number is change this to moles. So 35.4 grams H3PO4. One mole of H3PO4 is, okay, so you have to add three H's and one P and one and four O's, and I got 97.99 grams using the molar mass in the periodic table. And you divide those, I'm going to get 0 0.361 moles of H3PO4. So the reason I did that is because I wanted this number right here. 0.361. Okay. Next, I want to get the kilograms of water. This right here is the grams of solution, which is water plus H3PO4. I only want the water. So if this is 100.0 grams of water and H3PO4, and this is the mass right here of H3PO4, 35.4 grams of H3PO4. If I subtract those two numbers, I'm going to get the mass of the water. So this is 100 minus 35.4 is 64.6 grams of the water. And I change that to kilograms because it says kilograms right here. So I'm going to go... 1,000 grams is 1 kilo. This 0 0.0646 kilograms of water. I plug that in here, 0 0.0646. And the answer will be equal to... Here's a red pen. 59 little m of H3PO4. So that's how you do it. So for this problem, we have to convert from molarity to molality. It says here you have 5.00 molar. That's This is molarity. And this is molality. So the first step is always, number one, write the equation. EQTN for the, or the formula. Write the formula. Okay. So go ahead and write the formula for molality. Moles of, in this case, solute is CH3OH. Over kilograms of 
water. Okay, so that's the formula for molality. And then molarity is equal to moles of CH3OH over liters of solution. Okay, after you write the formula, step number two is write the given. So the given in this case is 5.00 molar. So I'm going to plug that in here. Okay, step number three is makeup numbers. Okay, so what I'm going to make up here, if this is five, I can make up five to one. That will equal five divided by one will equal to five. Okay, the next step would be to convert to desired units. And the desired unit are the moles to kilograms. Oh, the top, the numerator, I don't have to convert because five moles to five moles, so that just goes straight. Okay. And then here I have kilograms of water. This is solution. Remember, solution is CH3OH and water, okay? So I can't just convert this to kilograms because there's CH3OH in there, okay? So for this problem, I have to change 1.00 liter, 1.00 liter of solution somehow to kilograms of water, okay? And to do that, I will need the density of the solution. The reason I need the density is because the density will give me the grams of the solution. Okay, so let's use that. I'm going to change this first to milliliters. One liter is 1,000 milliliters. And then this is the one there. So one milliliter weighs 0.976 grams. And that gives me equals 976 grams of solution, which is CH3OH and water. Okay, again, I just need the mass of the water right here. Therefore, I have to just subtract the CH3OH out. Okay, to do that, I'm going to go ahead and figure out how many grams of CH3OH I have. So I have five moles, so I have to convert that to grams. 5.00 moles of CH3OH. Change that to grams. One mole is 32.04 grams. CH3OH equals 100 of CH3OH equals 160 grams of CH3OH. Okay. So now, I need the kilograms of water. This is how much CH3OH I have and water. This is CH3OH. How do I get the water? You're right. Subtract these two. If I subtract those two, I'm going to be able to get the water out, which is 816 grams of water. Change that to kilograms. It'll be 0.816. So 816 grams, 1,000 grams is 1 kilo, is equal to 0.816 kilograms of water. That will go here, and I do the math, and I'm going to get 6.13 molal of CH3OH. This one's a really hard problem, but take your time and do each step slowly.